Hello and welcome to another walkthrough for Django for Everybody. In this walkthrough we're going to look at uh, social login. And we're going to use GitHub to do our login. Um, and we're going to use a piece of code called uh, Social Login Framework. And you can read this. this. This is the link documentation of Social Login. You can read through all this stuff. But I've actually, in my home, I've already done most of this. And if you based some of your stuff on the settings, um, so if you've been using my code for a while, every time you say manage.py, it says if you want to use social login, please see this file and then and which registration it's doing. And so we're actually going to not really it's not really broken, but you'll notice now I'm going to show you where these messages are coming from and what we are about to change. So bring this one over here. So first off. Where those messages are coming from is down here deep in the settings.py about line 176. It's going to import from github settings.py. And github settings.py is a file, but this file doesn't yet exist. So if you go into um, DJ Free Samples, you will see that there is a github settings dist, but there is not a github settings.py. So this blows up. And otherwise, it, and it prints that message. So there's where that message happens. And so we, if you look at the documentation, we're going to put the GitHub OAuth2 backend, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So what we need to do basically is we need to take this file. There is a file called GitHub settings dist.py, and we have to make a new empty file called GitHub. settings py. So create that new empty file. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just take all of this and we're going to paste it into it. So from the disk. So this idea of a file with a disk name, that means it's kind of the distribution file. It's not the real file. And so I'm just going to save this file for now. Now the problem, and, and so if I go here, back here, I believe that at this point it won't say anything because we have a file. Right? And it says we've switched to using, it was using login, and then now it's using login social. And so the login is a registration template. So this was the login that you've been using until you turn the social on. And it has some rules that says, you know, here's where you do the URL, um, you get a form, etc. So you get to set this login. This is a long time ago that we set this thing. But social login, if you read all the documentation, read all this documentation, social login, you have a different way of doing it. So this is asking if that social auth GitHub key has been set properly, and that's this key right here, and otherwise it's not set. So if it gets set, then it's going to do a link to this social begin GitHub. And this is something that's documented in this Django framework. So, so where somewhere in here is the begin? Yeah. So, his, this is an example of how you call Google. So you do this social colon begin, and this social going back to settings.py. Um, oh, we got to go into the URLs.py. So let me go here and then go into urls.py. So there we do add something here, and that is that we find, we switch to social login, we try to import that same GitHub settings, and if we do get GitHub settings, we switch to using the different template, and we use, you say um, <clears throat> template name, and then use that as social, for our social login, okay? and then it prints out this little error message. Okay, so that redirects to uh, social login, and we also have um, OAuth, the social namespace social for the social Django URLs. Now that social Django URLs is configured uh, by some of those settings. Okay, Okay. so we have this file called github settings.py, but we can't use GitHub yet because we have to get a key and a secret. And so the instructions are right here. So we go to GitHub Developer Settings. 
Now I'm not going to show you the ones I'm using for the projects or the samples, but what you do is you just add a new OAuth app. Um, my cool app samples. And I give you some example things to put in here. So this actually this home page is really samples dj4e.com um, samples and then you've got to set the login and this is what you're going to need although I got to update it the application I got to change this to be samples.dj4e.com okay and then I register the application and now I have an ID and a secret. Don't worry, I'm going to delete this later. So then what you do is you go into settings, not settings dist, and then you go in and you paste that in, and then you paste this secret in. I hope I got the secret right. Yeah, this secret. So now I save it, right? So I save it, and um, let me go into my web tab, because this is my uh, pay account. And I'm going to go samples and reload samples. I'll just go over here and I'll do a manage.py check. And I hope everything is right still, but it's a good test. And it is using the social login and, and it looks fine. Okay, so I've, I've got that. Now let's just see what happens when I say log out. And now if I say log in, I get this login with GitHub because I set that. So if all goes well, I should be able to log into GitHub. Now what's happening is GitHub is asking Charles Severance, me, the logged in user, whether or not to share the data to my cool app samples. Okay, so I'm going to authorize it and then it's going to send back and then I'm logged in. And interestingly, now it knows who I am. It's a GitHub account. And like if I go into, oh, where are we at? Where's the menus at? Menu, because that that is based on that email account. That's a that's a gravatar that's based on the email account. So so now I'm logged in and away it works. So that's the basic idea. It really comes down to read this get create this GitHub settings. Use the GitHub settings dist, um, and away you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the GitHub settings dist, and you copy that into GitHub settings, and then you put your real account in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go back and delete this application so you can't use my keys. Now it's not going to work anymore. Okay, so so there I go. Um, so I hope this was uh, helpful to you, that you get walk you through a little bit of what it takes to get GitHub authentication working. I would observe that uh, the reason I chose GitHub is that you can do the same with Twitter and you can do the same with Google, but they're a lot, um, they don't trust you as much. And so you have to do a lot more work to prove to them that you're worthy of using uh, Google and, and, and Twitter instead of just, or Facebook. Um, those are all much higher bars to get permission to use it. Uh, GitHub is really easy. So hope this was helpful. Cheers.